Welcome back, guys. You ready for more Halo? Good, 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 good. Right, now, this episode, I'm introducing some mods. Oh, yeah, we're going to be adding some mods. I spent some time last night going through the... Uh, Going through the Steam Workshop, and I picked up a couple of mods that we're going to be using uh, in this episode, which will be pretty useful in this episode. Now, we'll start off over here. Now we just put um, we just put this huge, enormous station into uh, into Bicketis Hollow, right? But remember, we've also got to hook up the TGV. Okay, and somebody somebody actually left me a comment saying you haven't hooked up the TGV. Y yeah. Like, did you think I'd finished at the end of the last episode? It's just the beginning. There's a million things to do in, uh, in Bikini's Hollow. I've got to get all these roads set up. I've got to get all the bus lines set up. And everything. It's loads to do. But the point is, this station, I don't think, considering this is, you know, this has got the TGV coming into it, I don't think this station is big enough. And I don't think it's impressive enough. So we're going to put in a new station. And uh, by the way, all the mods that I'm using in this series, uh, I'm putting into a collection and there's a link to that collection in the video description. Right, so we are going to get rid of this station that I've only just put in. Boom. Right, now we'll find out if I could put the new one in. Now the new one is freaking impressive and here it is. Right, look at this. Like, oh my God. How freaking impressive is that? Now I think this is impressive enough for the uh, for the TGV station. So we're gonna let's see. I've got it set to I mean, yes, blah blah blah. Right. We'll flip this around a little bit. God knows how many polygons are there are on this. Jeez, a lot I think. Now um, this is not gonna fit in. Qu uh, well, I don't know. Will it quite fit in with our tracks that we've got at the moment? I've got it set to a 320, which was the length of the old station. But this is actually slightly longer than that. So, yeah, we're going to have to make it, gonna have to make a little change. Do I, like, can I get it any closer than that? I think that's about as close as we can get. Okay, we're in. My God, it is an amazing station. And you can actually go inside it. Which is... Which is very, very, very cool. Look at this. It, it's, it's, it's staggering. It's staggering, this station. I won't even try to pronounce the name of it. Because it's, um, cause it's, it's beyond my linguistic skills. Alright, well, let's, um, let's take this back. God. I'm now reworking my rework. Unbelievable and yet true. Just a quick smooth. Now I know several of you left comments and said like, too much terrain smoothing. Um, but the thing is, <laughs> it's kind of unavoidable. There is a lot of smoothing. I've just spent like a couple of hours um, working on stuff and a lot of that time was terrain smoothing so you've kind of got to put up with a little bit of it I'll try and get keep it to a minimum Now, this episode, as well as um, like putting in this station and whatever, I do have some plans for the next section. Which I think you might like. Because what I don't want, I don't want the Halo to be boring. right? I don't want it to be just an 8-track that goes all the way around and like every station is the same. And I want it to have variation and I think I've come up with a nice variation for the next section.
My God. I, you know what? I thought this was going to take about two minutes. And it's turned out to be a lot more complicated than I thought. God, wait till, wait till you see the plans that I've got for the next section. <laughs> Seriously, I think you're going to go, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay, so that's all of our tracks hooked up, and I, I tell I can tell you now that I I'm probably going to end up demolishing this section and relaying it to get it smoother, but I probably shouldn't bother. It's um, it's fine just as it is, but I don't know. It's like I don't know. I I, I really want a smooth curve coming in there, don't you? It's like ah, it's not quite right. Okay, anyway, the point is. Now that we've put this, um, these extra platforms on here, we can hook up the TGV into these platforms, which I think is going to be like fairly cool. Yeah. Right, so let's see. Now, the TGV is coming down here. We want to get it into here. Now, that's not, <laughs> not so easy. Uh, it's going to have to go fairly slowly around this curve but you know coming into the station going out of the station I mean if it's going to go slow at some point that's where you want it going slow now the question is do we bring it into these two platforms or the outer two platforms it's a very good question um, and one to which I actually, I actually kind of don't know the answer um, this is going to have to get Fairly reworked. Now, if we come straight from there, we could probably come out a little bit. I think it's going to be there. So the question is, which platform do we come into? You know what? I'm going to come into the outer platform for now, just to get the thing going. And then we'll worry about it afterwards. Now, we're only coming in to, um, in actual fact, to one platform. If we go to the other end of the TGV, up here. Uh, even though I've got it hooked up to two, we're only going into one platform. So I suppose I should do the same thing at the other end. So we'll be coming into these two platforms, I guess. Now I did have, uh, actually, no we're not, no we're not, because I did have an idea, and it was actually, I think, a fairly good idea. Um, I'm going to run another couple of lines and this is going to be like a, a stopping train so this is the express train over to dogging uh, but I'm also going to put in a, like a regional line which stops at Yorkipudgia, Heidelberg, Premier 2 Caton and dogging right so there'll be a, another line going from those so on that basis if we have another line going out something like that maybe Yeah, yeah, that kind of works. And now, do we have the trains um, kind of going side by side? And I think the answer is yes. So, you know, the TGV needs to come around until it's going straight up to Yorkie Pudge here. So that, I think, is about right. So you're going to come around like that. And then we take this back slightly because we want this to be nice and smooth if we can if we can do it. So like that kind of thing. Yeah, 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 yeah. Like it. Like it. Alright, so we go all the way over here to Yorkie Pudge here. And Oh, now, I should have checked 
Is there a train? Yes, there is a train here. Uh, okay. Okay, what we're going to have to do then... I'm using this line. Okay, so what we're going to have to do... Because we don't want the train to get trapped. Is... Um, Hook that up to that for a second, and up to that for a second. Cool. And then we go back to your capuchia. And then demolish this whole set of track. I'm going to lose... This is like my favourite tunnel. I'm going to lose my favourite tunnel. I'm going to have to, I'm going to create some new tunnels for sure. This is one tunnel through there. I don't get my little tunnels. I didn't like my little tunnels. I wonder. Like, Okay, well, I'm sorry, but... And I know, I know some of you don't like the terrain manipulation, but sorry, you're going to have to put up with it because I want my freaking tunnel back. So... perfectly onto here and we're going to have a beautiful little tunnel somewhere. Yay! We got our little tunnel back! <laughs> Hooray! Oh good, I'm happy now. Right, let's pop you in then. So, only two and a half million. Bargain! Chi-ching. Cool. So we've got our TGV now running into this beautiful station over here. That is a thing of beauty, isn't it? We've got to go and have another look because it's just so freaking awesome. It kind of dwarfs the city. We need to grow Bickerty's like a lot. But it is just totally staggering. Okay, um, the, the regional line, I'm not going to worry about for now. We'll, we'll, we'll worry about that another time. Um, so at least now I can get the, I can get the TGV working. Now, we, it is actually going to come into one platform. And if you're, if you're wondering why I'm running it into one platform, rather than having like two lines running into two platforms, if you have two lines, right? So let's, let's say we were running two trains and you've got one on one line and one on the other line. The passengers will split themselves between the two lines. They won't necessarily just take the next train and that re reduces the number of passengers that you have on each train. Also, the frequency of the, of the lines is lower. Um, so you're actually better having both trains on a single line. You'll get more passengers uh, and make more profits. So, so there you go, that's why. God, this is amazing. This is seriously, seriously awesome. Okay, uh, now that station, that, that station there was the kind of the first mod. The second mod is uh, a mod for truck stops. And here we go. And instead of just having this truck stop, well, uh, this one and the slightly smaller one, we get all kinds of other truck stops. Like, this is the, um, this is the, the medium city, right? And you can see it's kind of, a bit more modern, it's got some nice fencing around it, got a bunch of cargo sitting around, very nice. This one, this is just like 10 lanes. Uh, now there's no storage here, so it's kind of a kind of a slightly weird one. Um, but it's kind of cool, 
as as just like dressing up. I really like it. And then you've got this um, this medium industry one, which is a bit more. I mean, this this would go kind of perfect if we go over here to like I don't know, like see over here instead of having this one, or well rather up here, like by these farms. This right really fits in a hell of a lot more with these kind of farm environments, don't you think? just looks so much more appropriate uh, and then we've got um, the small city one let's go back over to Bickety's and let's have a look at this and this I like this one this has got you know it's got a nice oil tanker oil tank and some stuff lying around and whatever it's really nice so I, I can use these uh, this is the this is the large industry one, which is which is awesome. So we can use these and create like some more complex depots around the place, which is exactly what I'm going to be doing at some point. Okay, so having got the station in and we've got the TGV hooked up, I'll I'll do the details of putting the signals and the line and sorting all that stuff. I'll I'll do that kind of offline. Um, so then we've got our nice track that goes up past Confusedford. Now, I probably, well, I do need to do some more work on Confusedford. Um, I need to put a six lane street all along here, and I think I'm gonna end up putting a ring road in, and we need uh, bridges and stuff, so yeah, that's gotta be done. But what I want to focus on, really, is kinda the next bit. Now, the next bit is gonna focus on these four towns. It's not just gonna be Ice Cream Town and Maisley. Oh no. Now, what I'm planning to do here, <laughs> Is um, okay. First of all, let's talk. Let's talk Maisley because Maisley's kind of the kind of the easier one. Now, if we look at the um, the layout of Maisley, we've got industry down there, we've got commerce here, and then we've got the residential. What I'm thinking of doing: rip out the freight station, and see the passenger station is down there, which means we've got a long run to ship all of our passengers by bus up here. So we're going to move this station down here, but we're also going to put another station over here right this is going to be like um a, f a four track um now in fact <laughs> we'll because we'll run uh yeah we'll run two of the passenger lines down here right so that's just going to be two track going down there um and then on this side it'll be it'll be two passenger lines the four freight lines plus um, an additional, I think, two passenger lines. And they are going to form a little circle which goes between Maisley, Gangu, somewhere else, and Ice Cream Town. Okay. So there's going to be, like, if you like, a mini halo going on over here. So now that's going to mean that the, the, the Maisley people will be able to choose. Do they, do they take the the two mega halo lines on this side or the two mega halo lines on this side and it should give us complete coverage of the residential area without even having any buses um we will probably have a bus route in that probably runs from the residential i don't know through through the commerce to the industry or whatever um and then we are gonna need to move the freight station um, I think there's going to be a freight station in between because uh, we've got we've still got to run the food from here into here and because we're putting it on we can't do it in a passenger station so it's got to be we've got to have a freight station in but I said yeah I, I'm what I'm thinking is if if the lines going around here right maybe we have the freight station in kind of over here ish somewhere and then it's actually a shorter run to get the food in, which is kind of a good thing. So, yeah. <laughs> so, that is the general idea. So, I guess we need to start thinking about actually doing it. My God. <laughs> Unbelievable. Um, I was actually going to get this all functional before I started on the next section. Uh, but now I'm kind of wondering... No, I, th I think we'll go ahead and, and just do it. Uh, and I think I was just having a little think about how I'm going to structure the video. I, th I think what we'll do is we'll put the stations in uh, in real time and then I'll time lapse like hooking it all up and stuff. 
Um, so, my god, where the hell do we put this station? I, I kind of want to cut more into the middle of, of Ice Cream Town, to be honest, and have a maybe a bit more of a curve on it. So, I'm seriously thinking that the new station's going to go in more kind of here. So, we'd have to straighten these lines up a little bit, coming down. Uh, but yeah, I'm thinking the station's going to go in about here. God, this is going to be huge. We are going to be seriously ripping the hell out of this town. This is going to cost a fortune. But it kind of needs to be done. So shut up and do it, Sky. God, I'm going to have to completely rework all the bus routes and the truck routes. and everything. Oh my God. Yeah, this is huge. Oh my God, five million. Eight million. So what's that, 13, 13 and a half, um, 16, oh god, 26 million, <laughs> oh, don't you just love it, oh god, I have no idea how much money I'm throwing away, um, that's going to have to go, and that's going to have to go, and I think that, and, I think this road along here is going to have to go. And that. Yeah, that road's going to have to go. And with that bit as well. I'm thinking that's going to have to go as well. Uh, that depot's going to have to go. And so is that. This road's going to get completely reworked anyway. So you know what? That's going to go. It's all going to go. Jeez. Okay, well, uh, which means this bridge would have to get reworked anyway. So that's going to have to go. And, yeah. How much have I just spent? I'm thinking it's quite a lot. I wasn't kidding about this costing three billion. And I might have been on the light side. Um, that is stuck there so we're gonna actually have to hook that up with a road and uh, let's use a smaller one there we go we'll push them back onto that road okay now that means that we're gonna have to do something here as well so <laughs> have you spent a little bit of time have you spent a little bit of time actually hooking this up I'm gonna to have to unhook it again now so let's just take that back like that okay I'm gonna try and do this without accidentally destroying my tunnel okay here we go Oh, this is uh, this is kind of brutal, and at the same time, kind of scary. I just need to make sure that I don't actually run out of money, which I could easily do. So I'll take you back into that station. Now, this is the one that goes around to there and then into Maisley doesn't it yeah okay so oh we've got trucks stuck at that station as well let's take all of that back and that that station's obviously going to have to go as well So now we can push that truck back down this road. Well, all those trucks. There's more than one there. Okay, holy hell. Um, those trucks are stuck there. Are you gonna let me? Oh, there's a tiny, I, is there a tiny road section? Where are those gonna go if I delete this? Hmm. I, I don't know, so I'm gonna play it safe. I'm just gonna put a little street down there. And we'll get rid of the station. Oh, I wonder whether it would have transferred them over there. I don't know. I 
should probably have found out, but... No, I'm going to play it safe. So, you're pushed back over there, and then... Get rid of these. How far back do we want you to go? Well, you're going to end up going all the way back to Maisley, so... Might as well push you all the way back there. All right. Okay, um, now I am going to have to do like a, at least a tiny bit of smoothing. Just doesn't have to be like perfect, but just to get rid of the really rough stuff. Hopefully, hopefully it won't be too much. Uh, uh, is the, oh, there's a bit of track there. I was lucky I didn't get a train stuck there. That would not have been good. Alright, so... Let's just get the major... The major kinks out of this. And then I'll properly flatten it and smooth it and whatever later. So... There we go. Get this tunnel dug up. There we go. All right. Right, where are we going to put this station? Now, this is going to be this is going to be a main station, isn't it? All the tracks are going to, going to go straight into here. I did think about running two of the lines, two of the passenger lines, like round the outside, this side. But it, I don't think that really works. I think it works nicely for Maisley, but I don't think it really works here. But if I'm going to do this regional line, then the regional lines are going to have to kind of come around and come into this main station. Now that means, if I want regional ones there as well, that this needs to be more than an 8-track station, because we're going to have 8 tracks coming in here. If I want a couple of tracks for the regional, then this needs to be a 10-track station. Which means that then we're looking at using another one of these. So, which, I mean, it's not a bad thing. Let's flip you around. It's only 65 million for one of these. Cheap. <laughs> Jesus. Oh, my Lord. What am I doing? Now, the thing is, I... I think we're going to have to have it somewhere like like there-ish kind of sort of thing. Now, I suppose I could I could have it there and bring it back a little bit and then have the trains coming. But the thing is, I've got to remember that I'm bringing this regional line in here as well. So we actually probably want it more over here more like that kind of thing. Now, I could align it with that road that's coming down there. So, we'd want it somewhere about there. So I put it in and we'll kind of figure it out. Boom. 65 million quid. <laughs> I love the fact that this game, you actually have to worry, worry about the money. Even though I'm playing on easy and I've got, I started off with three billion, you still have to worry about the money. This is the thing about City Skylines. As far as being a game, right? And, and the same with like Planet Coaster. As far as the game is concerned, there just isn't the game, right? They are just sandbox building games. Whereas this is actually a game. You've always got to be worried about the money. All right, so. We'd be bringing those tracks into... That's going to work kind of nicely, I think. It's the regional track that's going to be the kind of the interesting thing. Now, how the hell are we going to do that? So, let's put... Um, let's put the regional line in over here. Now, what I'm thinking of doing here is, is kind of, again, cutting it kind of through the centre. Um... Now this only has to be a two station. 
Uh, okay. I'm going to be fairly brutal here, I think. So, let's get rid of you. Because um, I want this kind of in the middle. Now, see, I'm thinking about it now and thinking, well, hang on a second. Do I want do I want a freight line that runs round these four as well? In which case, I'd want. Um, well, no, actually, I could run the freight trains on the passenger lines, couldn't I? But they'd need to pick up from somewhere. But they could pick up from. If I'm putting a station, if I'm putting a freight station in here, we could hook the freight station up as well. And then the freight trains could ship around. Oh, that's kind of interesting. That's kind of interesting. All right. So, uh, how do I do this? I think, I think I do want to rip it through the center. So, I'm just going to do it. <laughs> I'm just going to do it. Uh, get rid of that. Uh, we're going to need roads on it. I'm going to have to get rid of this as well. Oh, my God. It never ends. It never ends. Um, so, hang on a second. Am I going to want to bring that in? Probably not, actually. I, I might try and leave that alone if I can. All right. Well, that's going to have to go. And that's going to have to go. And that's going to have to go. And that. And that, at least. Okay, so if I'm going to try and put a station in here, it's going to be a regular train station. It's only going to help. Now, I said I was only going to put two. Okay. So if I only put two platforms in, I want high speed and I want second street connection. So it's going to be somewhere like that now. Tracks going out to tr ice cream turn. Tracks going out to Gangu. Yeah, I'm thinking somewhere about there. Yeah, in it goes. And what I'm kind of thinking of is maybe having a little triangle here, which is probably going to like work horrendously badly for the traffic. But I just kind of. Uh, and it probably won't even go in. No. No, it's going to say, yeah, you can't construct that. Um, unless... We knock that down. Knock that down. And then... Have something like... That. Now I want you to go straight. I'm going to end up knocking that down as well, I can see. Now, there we go. So, why wouldn't you do it before? Stupid road. Um, yeah, so we'll have... We'll upgrade these roads, so that'll be going around there. We'll do... I don't know. We'll probably do a similar thing on this side as well. Yeah, that'd be quite... Could be quite cool, actually. There's another 600k gone. So, if we do something... Yeah. I want you to come in. I want you to come in from that side. There we go. And like that. That kind of thing. Alright. So yeah, we're gonna have to rip right through here. So goodbye. Um <laughs> add another two million bites of the dust. Alright. Now, how the hell are we going to get these regional lines out of here? I'm thinking that's got to go. Oh. Did it see? That's stuck there, so I have to put in a bit of road. And delete that section first. There we go. What I'm thinking for the regional section is maybe a tunnel under here. Um, do I want to do a little bit of... Rain smoothing first. Yeah, no, I'll sort it out later. Okay, so if if I just ran this out. Now let's see, I'm going. Where the hell am I going? I'm going over here. 
let's see which which platform did I come? I came off the far edge. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we'd want to come into this one. Okay. Quite a long loop, isn't it? I don't think I don't think we want to be that loopy. I, I think we want to come out a bit sharper and have a tunnel going up to kind of there-ish and then curve in. Okay. If I drop you, oh, see, if I drop you down, then you will. But it's not making a tunnel fast enough. That's. I'm thinking we're gonna have to do something with this to get it to make a tunnel f faster. Um, let's see. We curve it round like that. And that's as far down as it'll go. Let's see, if I put that in, Will you? Yes, see, now you'll make a tunnel. Okay, cool. Ah, uh, no, it's got to go a bit further. Damn it. All right, well, we're going to have to lose that then. Jeez. This just gets more and more and more expensive. Um, how can I maybe alleviate some of the losses? If I get rid of that and that and hook that up, with a road like that. I still don't think I'll get underneath it, but we'll see. We will see. Oh, yes. Yes, 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 yes. We got through. We got through. Yeah, speed's okay. We could actually come around a little bit more if we wanted to. Yep, that's fine. And then uh, let's see I'm running for, yeah I want to run into that one don't I okay let's get rid of this road and you know what I think it would be sensible to get rid of just like the whole damn thing because I'm going to run into it at some point. There we go. And there we go. Right, where does the tunnel come up? If I lift you up, no, it doesn't like that. Oh well, I have to do it, mate. Oh, there we go. That's kind of what I want. How's the, how's the speed? I think we can afford to come round even more. Oh, no, we can't. About there then. Okay. Something, something like that. And then run you into, hopefully, for the last freaking time. Nope, apparently not for the last time. Let's run you to there. There we go. Okay. Not the absolute smoothest, but let's just maybe trim that back a little bit. Just get that a little bit smoother. There we go. Yeah, that's a bit nicer. Alright, cool. So 
And we've got uh, we've got our regional line in there. I'm kind of happy with that. Um, then it's going to have to run through here, which means this is going to have to get ripped out as well. <laughs> God, there's virtually nothing left of this town. It's been ripped to pieces. Um, yeah, that's going to have to go. All of that. So then the line's going to come around. So where are we going to put it in here? And again, I'm kind of thinking of having this as a as a central station in the middle of the town. Uh, and then it's going to loop around to Maisley. Maisley North. Uh, for some reason, I think this is north. Don't ask me why. I just I, This is north to me. And so down here is south. Right, so there's going to be Maisley North Station over here and Maisley South down over this side. That's the that's the general idea. Um, but this one's going to be slap bang in the centre. So, more destruction. More willful destruction of property. Let that out. That, that. Um, well, I, want, I kind of want it here. All right, so we'd be putting it in somewhere. Now, I could put it kind of like there-ish. Would that work? That might kind of work, actually. So if that one goes there, so that would get hooked up to there. That's fine. And we run the line out of there. Right, so let's let's talk Macely. Let's talk Macely. Let's get rid of some of this. So I am thinking we have a uh, like a Macely ring road to get rid of all of that. So I'm thinking it's gonna be like about here. Now, this is going to be the big one, isn't it? Yeah, because this is going to have um, the freight lines. The other one's going to be a two. This is going to be a six plus... No, it's going to be uh, two, four, yeah, six. Yeah, this is going to be an eight because we need two passenger lines, four freight lines, and two passenger lines for the regional. Jeez. This is huge, isn't it? Come on, it's pretty huge. So it's going to be an eight... Uh, 320. I haven't made those stations long enough, have I? I need to supersize them. So you are going to be, let's see, so we're coming in from Ice Cream Town around here. So I'm thinking that kind of sort of thing. Yeah, that kind of sort of thing. Um, I'm just thinking about the alignment for the train coming in from Gangu. So the more I can angle it, the less curve we're going to have to on it. So maybe like that. Now I'm going to want um, a six lane road coming through here. So maybe we set this back a little bit. Maybe kind of there. So that's going to be Macely North. In fact, I'm actually going to name it Macely North. Macely North. Cha-ching. Right, so then we're left over here wanting to put in Macely South. Uh, do I want to do that now? And huh, this is the point where I have to rip this out. Now, jeez. But at least I can get rid of this really poor... I hated doing this, but... Yeah, that's that can go. Uh, now, where was I up to with deleting the tracks? I was up to here. So, more more track deletion. Ah, no, 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 no. Oh, no, the vehicles are stuck there. Idiot. Let's try that again. So, push you back. And you. I'm fairly sure this is going to have to get knocked down. Um, 
In fact, it's going to be in a complete, just in a completely different place. The thing is, I've got that in the way. So I'm thinking I'm going to have to tunnel under that. Because my tracks go like straight through it. <laughs> well, unless we have a fairly abrupt curve, which, I mean, we could do. We kind of don't really want to. Because we're going over to that station there. So we're kind of just clipping the corner of this. I think we might have a little bit of a tunnel going on there. Yep, that's what I'm thinking. Um, so, so yeah, let's just let's just get rid of this. This project big enough for you yet? This is the section that we're doing is actually going to end up being a pretty damn big section. Because we're going to be running from, let's see, from Bickety all the way to Maisley. Which is like, that's about 25% of the line. Which, which is quite a lot. So yeah, definitely, after, after I've managed to put all this stuff in, I definitely want to get the lines hooked up and all functional again. And then there's a couple of things uh, that I want to play around with. I want to play around with the, um, with the airports because I've got some ideas for actually getting the airports working actually making us some money which would kind of be nice because we'd like the airports working so let's push it back to there you go all the way back here god I wonder how many trains are actually queued up here it's not just two that's for sure and uh, the freight station has got to go so yeah, go. There's no point being sentimental about these things. If you've got to rip it out, rip it out. And then, thank God I can get rid of this monstrosity. God, this is what... This is this blooming viaduct was the most horrible thing I've done in the game so far. I'm so happy it's going. There you go. All the way. Bridge pillar collision. Oh, God. Okay, now I've got an issue. <laughs> All right. So what we're going to have to do... When it says bridge uh, bridge pillar collision, what it's saying is that if, if it was to delete this section, it would have to move the pillars to a place where it couldn't... So it's going to try and move this pillar kind of back to probably about here, which, of course, is over these tracks, and it can't do it, and that's why it's saying bridge pillar collision. Uh, let's run you back and do I rip the station out yeah because why wouldn't I yeah that goes now if I rip this out now I'll be able to get rid of this hooray Take you back till you just the, the three lines together. It should be there. Hooray! Okay, so that's finished ripping that stuff out. So now we can think about positioning um, Maisley South. So Maisley North up there, Maisley South down here. Uh, let's see. If we were going to have a road maybe coming along there. Yeah, but I'm I'm also looking at having a road coming straight from this station to the other station, and again I want to do it without with as, as little destruction as possible. But I can't see how I can do that without a lot of destruction. Uh, I mean I'm thinking about this kind of road at least up to there, but run it straight through here. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. So, oh my God. So that would mean getting rid of that, that, that. That's certainly got to go. Um, that, that, and that. 
that's going to have to go for sure. Alright. <clears throat> so, should I put that road through first? Uh, this is going to be bus lane. Yes. So, okay. let's do a large out to there. Now, ideally, we want this to just come straight through here. So, if we have that to there, and then there, this is um, this is very cool, but it's also very very brutal. Jesus, the the money is just shocking. The amount of money. Um, let's take it in that way. There we go. All right, so we've got a nice six lane running from station to station. All right, so uh, now we want to put the station itself in. Now this is just going to be um, this is going to be a two. So if we flip you around we'll have the orientation pretty much the same as it was before and that should give us like minimum disruption um, that road's gonna have to come back a bit so let's get around with that. so if we put the if we put the station there and I'm just looking at the alignment of these lines to try and get it kind of the same um, that's at 320 so we want it there uh, but I actually want it the other way around, you idiot. I want the station on the other side. It doesn't make any difference, but like just for pure aesthetics, I want the station on the other side. So I want it there. Now, the thing is, I think I actually need to give it a little bit more space. Otherwise, I won't get depots and stuff in. So it's going to have to be kind of more there. All right, cool. Whew. Um, so we've got the station in for Maisley. We've got the station in for Ice Cream. We've got the station in for somewhere else and for Gangu. Right, so what I've got to do now is hook the lines up between um, the the Mega Halo and Ice Cream Town. I've got to put in... I've got to figure out where I'm going to put the freight station, actually. Uh, link it up to both sides of Maisley. I think I'm probably going to do something similar in Landsberg Heights, but I haven't quite decided yet. Uh, we'll see. Let's get uh, let's get Macely put in first. Uh, I'll put in the mini Halo. So I tell you what, we'll leave it there for this episode, and the beginning of the next episode will be the time lapse of building all of that. And what I'll do is finish that and get the whole thing functional, so that we can actually run the Halo line again. That's going to be the target for the next episode. So don't miss it. Peace out.